Before the Grand Wagoneer arrived, Jeep had never built an SUV this big and luxurious. Inside its enormous shell are three rows and seating for up to eight, not to mention the attractive materials and high-end features. The long wheelbase Grand Wagoneer L also has more storage space behind all the seats. The longer version will also be more difficult to maneuver than its already cumbersome counterpart. Despite their length, the largest Jeeps suffer from appalling fuel economy, with a combined EPA rating of just 16 mpg. That estimate also isn't for a large capacity V8, but a new twin turbo six cylinder engine with 510 horsepower. At least that machine should get the 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer and its precious cargo where it needs to go on time and in great comfort. For those who don't want to spend six figures, the Jeep Wagoneer is a cheaper, albeit less luxurious, alternative. For 2023, the Grand Wagoneer L will join the fray. The wheelbase is 7 inches longer than the standard Wagoneer and a foot longer overall. This extension contributes to significantly more cargo space behind all three rows of seats. Under the hood, the long wheelbase model has Stellantis' new Hurricane engine, which is a twin-turbo 3.0-liter inline-six that produces 510 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. Although standard on the stretched Grand Wagoneer L, the 471 HP 6.4-liter V8 is still available in the regular Grand Wagoneer base trim. With the introduction of the new long wheelbase Grand Wagoneer L came a new engine. Dubbed the Hurricane, the 510 HP twin-turbo 3.0-liter inline-six pairs with an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. While this engine comes standard on the stretched Grand Wagoneer L, the standard wheelbase model can still be had with the 471 HP 6.4-liter V8 powertrain, but only in the base model. The new i6 is a precise machine, as it beat the older V8 in our acceleration test, pushing the Grand Wagoneer L to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds. Like its domestic rivals, the Grand Wagoneer uses a body-on-frame foundation, in this case derived from the Ram 1500 pickup truck. However, the Jeep has independent rear suspension rather than a rigid truck rear axle, which gives the SUV a smoother ride and better handling. From Ram Together with multiple four-wheel drive systems, the Grand Wagoneer offers adaptive air suspension that can raise the ride height by up to 3.6 inches or lower it by half an inch. It also offers 10 inches of ground clearance, up to 2 feet of water weighting capability, and a maximum tow rating of 9,860 pounds. After driving a Grand Wagoneer, the pickup truck structure contributes to a bumpy ride when the pavement is less than smooth. Likewise, the large SUV isn't particularly agile in small spaces and suffers from notable body roll on twisting roads which is exacerbated by a faintly light steering feel. With standard three-row seating and room for seven or eight passengers, the Grand Wagoneer gives large families the opportunity to live the Jeep lifestyle, which has been impossible since the old and unloved Commander was around. A pair of second-row captain seats are standard, but bench seats are available for maximum passenger capacity. As a luxury version of the regular Wagoneer, the cabin is loaded with elegant surroundings, such as real wood accents, and high-tech features, such as a 12.3-inch full digital gauge cluster. The interior also features Easter eggs, inspired by the original Grand Wagoneer, including an old-school-inspired two-spoke steering wheel and the words, Est. 1963, that appear on the edge of the dash when you open the door. Along with adjustable ambient interior lighting, these grandest Wagoneers offer a head-up display, camera-mounted mirrors and a rear-seat monitoring system that displays a video feed to a central touchscreen. On the standard wheelbase model, cargo area behind the third row is 27 cubic feet, and stowing provides 71 cubic feet behind the second row. On the long wheelbase model, there are 44 cubic feet behind the third row and 89 cubic feet with the second row seats folded flat. One of the most charming aspects of the Grand Wagoneer is its multifaceted infotainment system. Even without including the digital gauge cluster, the Jeep dashboard is covered in screens. The main focus is the center stack, which packs a 12.0-inch center touchscreen that sits above a 10.3-inch touchscreen with controls for the HVAC system. Starting from Series 2, 
there is another 10.3-inch touchscreen for front seat passengers. Desirable standard features include a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and USB ports on all three rows. Second row passengers are also treated to another 10.3-inch touchscreen between the captain's seats. Opting for a rear seat entertainment system adds a pair of 10.1-inch touchscreens. Every Grand Wagoneer has a powerful Macintosh stereo.